Oh yeah, it's Arrow Week here at Body Bags. And I picked a Sergio Martino film. And it is titled, Your Vice is a Locked Room, and Only I Have the Key. And it was loosely based on Edgar Allan Poe's classic tale, The Black Cat. And this weaves the key motifs from Poe's gothic yarn into one of the most sensual films from the golden era of Giallo, or Gialli. How do you pronounce it? Sorry about the glare. Guys, stars Luigi Pistilli, who is in Miano Calibro 9 and A Bay of Blood, of course, which we've all seen. Oh, yeah. And this is notable for giving screen starlet at Luigi Finish her first bad girl role, baby. And this film has a lot of many unexpected twists and turns, which is just as bewitching as its title would suggest. Welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Thursday reviewer, Chris, from Crispy Movies. You know my name is Chris, and you know I love B-movies, and I love exploitation films, and Gialli films, too. Kind of like this one. Yeah, I really enjoyed this film. But let's talk about the Arrow edition of Your Vice Locked Room, only I have the key. This is a brand new 2K restoration of the film, which looks fantastic. Has beautiful levels of detail and fine grain mark, and has a crisp 1080p on it as well. Um, a lot of uh, really good extras on here. Through, through the Keyhole, a brand new interview with director Sergio Martino, unveiling the vice making of Retrospector, featuring interviews with Martino star Edwin Finish and screenwriter Ernesto Gastaldi. Uh, Dolls of Flesh and Blood, the Gialli of Sergio Martino, a visual essay by Michael McKenzie, The Strange Vices of Mrs. Finish, film historian Justin Harris, on the Your Vice Actress' prolific career. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at the inside. It comes with a nice little booklet. Well, not so much a booklet, but a little slip for what have you done to Solange. And a lot of people have probably seen this one as well. It has a lot of uh, the other titles on here. And as I said, take the disc out. I like the cover up to this. It has reversible cover art. Yeah, to your vice select room. Oh, I have the key. So uh, let me get to a more in-depth synopsis of the film, okay? So we are talking about... Oliviero Rovigny, played by Luigi Pistilli. And he's a degenerative writer, alcoholic, and very abusive to his wife, both physically and emotionally. And him and his wife have these big drug parties, and they also have these orgies. And he treats her terrible in front of everybody. Like, there was one scene where she's just sitting there, so solemn, and he says, why aren't you drinking? She's like, I don't want to drink. So he takes this big bowl and has everybody at the party pour all the rest of their drinks into it. And he forces, force feeds her alcohol there, right in front of everybody. Um, the parties are, are really out there. Uh, at one point, uh, one girl just stops singing and it breaks out to song. And song's pretty catchy, you know? Has like a 60s hippie-ish uh, style to it. Um, and there's my dog barking, Mac Attack right there. <laughs> Which is a real catchy tune. I can always slap my hands to it. Um, he, he does really bad things to his wife. Like he locks her in a room for hours. Uh, if he feels she does not behave, he cheats on her with other women, and she knows it, and he makes her know it. Um, and he was a guy who was a prolific writer, and he's just down his luck. He just... Um, he's a degenerate writer, I guess, because the alcoholism maybe affected his mind. And um, he has... He doesn't want to write anymore, and he just has no desire to do anything but just be, uh, be abusive. Now, I'll be announced to all this, a string of killings is going on. And of course, we're looking at him as the guy who's probably killing people. But it's always in, in film noir films and Jolly films, it's the one you least expect. And it has a good twist and turn when you find out truly who the killer is. Because at some point, you do think about it, and it does make sense. But it's a good little twist and turn. So, while things are going on, now, uh, Mr. Oliviaro's niece comes in, and um, she's very sexually provocative. She definitely plays both sides, where she gets into intimate relations with her uncle, as well as Irene, her uncle's wife. And she's playing both sides, like, oh, I'm on your side, now I'm on your side, and she plays each other. And she plays um, the two of them against each other. So, And then... Unbeknownst to everything that's going on, there's this cat who is like basically Satan's cat. Um, he shows up when bad things are going on. At one point, he goes into the um, chicken coop and <laughs> kills all the chickens. To which Irene comes in and stabs him in the eye in a very humorous scene. <laughs> 
And so the cat just disappears. And now Oliviero is trying to figure out where his cat went. And so he abuses his wife more when she when he feels that she had something to do with it. Mm -hmm. Now Oliviero, um, albeit an abusive person, has this love relationship with his mother. And as the film progresses, you learn that there is more to it, possibly incestuous relationship with his mother. His mother has had just recently passed away, and he has artwork of his mother where he just sits there and stares at it for a very long time. So there was a love relationship with his mother, but more so of an ancestral type relationship. Um, and when you see the ancestral relationship with his niece, you can tell that this is all in the family. But the niece eventually smartens up and falls in love with this motorbiker, um, and she feels like she needs to get away from this hut and all this abuse that's going on. And so she goes off with him, and well, it's a very sad ending, tragic ending for them as well. <laughs> um, it's really cool when you find out who the killer is because you do suspect because it's the one, you know it's always the one you least suspect, right? And because there was no butler, um, <laughs> always blame the butler, right? <laughs> You figure out that it could be somebody other than the person we expect, Oliviaro. Um, I think Luigi Pisti, he, it was a very dark role for him. He was an abusive uh, husband, and um, he abused his wife, and he, you know, he locked her in a room for two hours, like I said before, and let her out when he when he wanted to. Um, there was a scene where um, there was a, a maid that they had, and she was a student, and they took her in as a maid, but she would clean the house. Obviously, that's what maids do. And, well, something bad happened to her, but she also had an intimate relationship with uh, Oliviero as well. Um, I think Anita Strindberg, who played Irene, did a wonderful job. Her character development was legendary. I mean, it went from a solemn wife getting beaten to a strong woman towards the end. And, well, <laughs> I'm not going to ruin every, anything for you. Uh, most of the people watching this probably have already seen this film, but I, I, I won't ruin everything for you. And Edwin Finetch is beautiful. Um, she played the niece of Liviaro, and, um, she had more of a wicked side to her, which was different from some of her other roles. She's the queen of Giallo, Gialli films. See, Mac, Mac Attack is very excited. Anytime I say it, and we'd finish, he gets very excited. Yeah, wonderful film. I really enjoyed it. Good twist ending at the end. Um, clean print from Arrow, really good. I would watch this in the original, um, Italian language. I wouldn't watch it in the English language, um, because, well, it's a lot of, you know, quirky voices playing the characters, and it kind of just takes it away from the um, actual film. Plus, you know, when I watch an Italian film or a Japanese film, I like to watch it in its original language, um, because you get more out of it that way. I don't mind reading the subtitles, okay? So like I say, it's a film from 1972, 96 minutes, flows very well, great Gialli film, and I truly think that if you're going to start watching Gialli films, this is probably a good one to start with, Okay. So I really enjoyed this one, and absolutely check it out. And check out all the other Arrow titles, because they do a really bang-up job. Us collectors know all about Arrow. You know, we love this company, so support it, and pick up this film as well. I got this one fairly cheap. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Check out all the other reviewers. They're all doing a bang-up job this week on Arrow Week. And um, check them out, because they'll bring great stuff to the table. Very passionate about films, like we all are. And check me out next Thursday. I'm going to bring something fun to the table. Oh, yeah. And uh, everybody stay safe. Practice social dis distancing. Do a good job. The more we do it, the more this stuff gets out of here. All right. And don't forget to watch those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest Fright Max. But don't forget to tune into another episode of Body Bags. And I'll check you next week.